All right, so I just want to take a moment and discuss with you a movie that I've seen recently that has just stuck with me. And it's a movie that I did a review on just a few days ago, and that is the new M. Night Shyamalan movie, Knock at the Cabin. Now, rarely do movies just stick with me days after I've watched them. Usually I watch it and I can kind of move on, but I continue to, to just think about this movie, and I know that the box office was not great, uh, the Cine, one of the scores, a Cinescape, that's not what it is. There was Cinescope, one of the scores. Uh, the audience uh, score for that was like a C. Um, but to me, it, it's just much, much better than that. Um, it is just, I've thought about it on and off, how much I really, really like this movie. Um, as I said in my review, to me, it's one of his best. It's one of his uh, one of my favorites of his, um, and it's just, it's very well crafted, it's very well written, I know some people have said that it's slow, but I, I've seen slow movies or movies that are slow to me, and yes, it did take some time building, but I, I think it was that tension that it was building, and it worked well to build to the end climax of the movie. To me, again, the characters were well written. Uh, they were well acted. Again, Dave Bautista, this is by far his best role. Uh, he has proved himself definitely as more than just an action actor. Um, I think he's got a lot of promising roles uh, down the road where he's shown that he can just play any type of role. Um, Again, the, the filming, the, the shots, how some of the stuff was framed. Um, it's just an incredible eye for framing a, a scene in a certain way that gives you uh, the impact and, and makes that emotional connection. Uh, there was a comment on the review that uh, somebody made was talking about that, that kind of emotional connection. And that, to me, I, I made an emotional connection with the characters, with all of them and when you can do that with a movie when the movie maker can make you feel for the characters and what's going to happen that just proves again how good it is now i know in a way he's kind of i'm gonna say it this way kind of ruined things because his first several movies people get used to saying oh what's the surprise what's the twist going to be um and you don't always need that yeah there's a little bit of a twist, but it's this movie works. It just works. Um, and I, like I said, I've thought about it. it I saw it Thursday, the 5 o'clock show. It's Sunday evening when I'm uh, recording this. That means I've thought about this for several days. Now, I mean, it's not like I've constantly thought about it, but it would keep popping in my mind. I'd be thinking, um, you know, wow, you know, what about this in this movie? You know, uh, how's it compared to... Um, his other movies and it's probably going to be one of my favorite of 2023 is it going to get any awards at the end of the year highly unlikely what i like to see dave bautista get a nomination for this absolutely i think he deserves one and we've just started 2023 is he probably going to get one probably not probably not but i think he could and i think he should um so give this movie a chance. Again, it's Knock at the Cabin. It's probably not going to be in theaters very long because, it, again, it only made about $14 million, uh, opening weekend, which I think uh, I've read that it only had $20 million budget, so it should easily make its money back, but it's probably not going to stick around very long, especially as you move further into February into March and you get movies like Ant-Man and Creed Three and Cocaine Bear and um, John Wick 4, it's probably not going to be along in the theater. Now, of course, that means it'll be on video on demand and uh, either streaming or cable service. Um, so catch it when you can. If you can get a chance to go to the theater, I highly, highly recommend you do this. And I know he's not going to see this and respond, but M. Night Shyamalan, I want to thank you for this movie. I want to thank you for your career as a uh, writer and director. 
Um, I really, really appreciate this movie. Um, and I want to just say thank you to you for making Knock at the Cabin.